twice, so I was lucky enough to go out twice. Uh, first in 2009, um, I volunteered um, in Bangalore for one month. Um, that was on an eco-sanitation project, um, and that was in rural sorts of uh, communities just outside of Bangalore. And the second project was in the north of India, uh, in Uttar Pradesh, a village called Amaprakashi, working on a pollution, uh, well, a paper mill sort of campaign to raise awareness uh, for pollution in the village. I volunteered for three months in India uh, for a month in Bangalore, uh, working on a development project with an NGO, and then in rural Uttar Pradesh state in North India. I volunteered um, in 2010 at a school in Bangalore. Um, it's the name of the school is Hope Foundation uh, School, and um, that was um, on a project um, about uh, interactive reading. Initially, it was watching Slumdog Millionaire, which uh, sounds really strange, but that um, taught me a lot more about India. I'd never been before. I knew a bit about it because I'm of Indian origin, but I'd never been, so Slumdog Millionaire um, opened my eyes to you know what could be happening. We graduated in 2009. Um, the economy wasn't doing too well. Um, it was an easy way to say, uh, I want to go and do what I really want to go and do, which is go and explore the world. Yeah. Um, do some volunteering, so um, I took AF AFP came calling and we took the opportunity. Sharing ideas with the teachers, I think that was amazing because um, with the interactive reading um, it opened up this whole world to me where I was interacting not just with the students but mainly with the teachers and um, sh just sharing the ideas of interactive teaching with those teachers was amazing because uh, this was something that they haven't come, come across very often in the, in the past and um, my just telling them about it was opening up new doors for them and they were very excited to learn about it and I was very excited to kind of share that idea, those ideas with them. There were a lot of challenges. Um, we, can, we had to overcome social barriers, for example the caste system in India which changed our view on social hierarchy and that's influenced, influenced us ever since. Uh, underlying problems in India that uh, make um, you know, these sort of projects so much harder uh, that you just don't really exist in, in Britain in, develop, in the developed world, uh, corruption, bribery. Um, so it was up to us really to try and find um, solutions well ways to mitigate these problems as best as possible because what we found is we can really, you know, change the world of India in, in one night. I suddenly found myself getting more and more involved with um, quality of education in India and then I decided that I would um, go on to do a um, teacher training course. I did PTCE, which I've just finished. And now I'm starting a job as a teacher in a sixth form college and I'm, uh, my, my long term aim is to uh, get experience as a teacher and then get involved in projects in India. Um, professionally I then went on to work in the development field, um, working on economic development primarily in Africa, um, that, which then prompted me to go and study further. I did a masters in political geography focused on developing countries and a lot of the issues um, to do with economic development that they face. Um, personally, it's changed me because I now have a different perspective on every aspect of my life. Yeah, definitely. Um, it gives you a completely different perspective, especially if you've not been to that sort of environment before. So. Um, not only does it help you career-wise, it gives you things to talk about in an interview, gives you you know those hard skills um, that you would have developed whilst uh, working on those projects. If you have a passion, if you if you are interested and you do think about these things, um, it is a, I would advise you to do that because it will just put the picture together for you. You you may only know one side of the story by reading about it and listening to other people, but by going to India yourself to volunteer, it is actually going to make it clearer to you what is happening there and you are in a better place to then um, create awareness of the issues. <laughs>